Hey everybody, welcome to Coming This Summer. We're gonna do our Chris Pratt Garfield impressions for the remainder of uh, this review. Which this is, is just, much the energy just he talk got like us, talk like yourself but without ca caffeine. Yeah, yeah. just like if you just woke up in the morning. That's how you should talk. If you wanna do the Garfield 2024 voice, pretty much just do this. Just do this. Hey, I'm Somebody Garfield. paid Chris Pratt a fuck ton of money. Well, the budget on that was about 70 million. The animation probably took up not more than 40. Voice acting we'll, we'll get, get into paid that. as much. No, but he probably got five. Which is way too much money. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't have, he should, 100,000. Samuel Jackson probably money. got two or three. Oof. So yeah, probably around eight to 10 million of the budget was, was, voice, was I, voice. I think I hate this movie more than I hate Mondays. <laughs> nice. That's, I was not expecting it, nice. Yeah, <laughs> early review of Garfield, of course. We're probably going to remain pretty much spoiler-free, even though there's I think not we should really try. many spoilers. It, 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 I was going to say. I don't there's really not really much there's to much spoiler. Spoiled. If you watch the trailer, this movie features a new origin story for Garfield. He still finds John. I did like the beginning where he's like, and that's how I adopted John. Yeah. I even let him get a pet. <laughs> like, there was... Uh, th th Odie's my unpaid intern, and he's like making there him do all this shit. There could be good stuff there, yeah. but that love comes from just loving Garfield. If that movie kept that energy, if it yeah. kept that energy for the rest of the movie, it would have been a pretty decent. There's flick. there's this whole Garfield and his real dad plot. His we, father, because we needed that. What? What are you doing, man? There's but there's some good heartfelt stuff in is. that little bit of stuff. There is. Like the whole tree branch the tree branch thing. thing. I'm like, okay. That, the music swells up and they're like forcing you to feel that way. It's like, you didn't earn it, but I'm like, you know, and I'm not it was crying, Pander but it's Fest. like I'm tearing up because yeah. it's like the music swelling up and it's like this big reveal or whatever. But Garfield's <sighs> father is basically the name of the game in this movie. It is. is. Garfield takes a back strange. seat in his, his own like reboot movie, which He's is just really along weird. for the ride. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's like. We're in the live action ones. It's like, no, it's the Garfield movie. It's like, we get Squeak. We get Nermal. Yeah. We get Arlene. We get the dogs. Like, we get all the no, and they give a, of yeah. Garfield characters. This is like John Odie uh, Garfield. But they give us, they give us the Garfield movie and the things from the trailer in the first eight minutes of the movie. Where he goes, I'm going to tell you a story you never heard before. Then he tells you the quick intro of the movie, and then they literally do the Avengers. Here comes the title, and then it turns into not the Garfield movie anymore. Yeah. Like, oh, that we gave you that in the first eight minutes. Yeah. That's the Garfield movie. I'm like that's what I wanted. That's the movie I wanted. And now we're going to pitch, and he's going to be the third character, yeah. roughly, in the order of the movies. So that yeah. doesn't. Um, we're lukewarm on it. It's really not great. Chris Pratt. I thought I was like, okay. I gave it some credit in the first five minutes because I'm like, maybe it gets better. It mm -hmm. doesn't. Mm -mm. It stays the same for the whole movie, mm -hmm. and it's the exact problem we all had in the trailer, where it's like he's not even doing a voice. Yes. Like. Yes. My first. Okay, thirty minutes in, I get where they're going. Because like, Garfield's so lazy, he was so lazy. Right. Get, he's he method, really. It's method. He really. <laughs> it's method. <laughs> See, I knew. I kind of knew where they were going after you know, like twenty minutes in. You're like, oh, sure. okay, I'm fine. This is like a generic. This is cliche. The right. Cliche. But I'm field. still like, okay, they gotta re reset it somewhere. But Chris Pratt. And I like Chris Pratt, and I've defended a lot because I don't think he did a bad job at Mario. No, because he was doing a voice. He did like an Italian, like, but not like a super stupid on the nose, but like just enough. And you're like, okay, that that works. And now that I've seen that movie multiple times, I'm I fine can with visualize, it. I'm fine with it. Especially if they're gonna roll with it for a couple movies, mm -hmm. it's like okay, it's fine. No, and the in universe joke is the other Mario voice is just the voice they put on for marketing, and I'm like, that's funny. Right. That's funny. Right. He does the heightened voice for commercials. But they're Garfield. he ruins this movie. Yeah, like, a little bit. And I mean that because, like, whatever, it's okay. It's a mediocre movie for kids. Like, kid, little kids will like it. Oh, God. It feels like it's made for three-year-olds, which should have been on Netflix. Like, Joda, your youngest kid My will youngest kid like will like movie. it. Yeah. I don't even know in between your middle child and your youngest yeah, if it's that, just so... it's that much of a difference that, like, it it's good for eight-year-olds but not good for ten-year-olds. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, it feels like the old show they used to have where they did, like, Gar uh, Garfield for the first 15 minute, and then they did like the farm. Oh, the Garfield stuff. and Friends. And Friends. And they Which, had like the weird, it was really, this is what this movie, like an extended version of that show, but without the, but even they brought even the cow, you know what I mean? Like they kind of That still, cow is not even from that He's not cartoon. canon, but I'm like, saying like, they still touched on this, it just felt weird. Yeah. Like it didn't feel like a feature length, I should be sitting in a theater watching this movie. You remember that 3D animated cartoon they did a couple years ago? Yes, it felt very much like that. 
Episodes of that are better than this movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that cartoon. It's a good I grew show. up on that it's fucking a funny cartoon. Show. It's a solid, aside from garbage animation. Right. It's like, it's, I think that one was produced in France. I think yeah. that was like a, a yeah. And it's like the, one of the first real 3D animated fully it's, shows. This was, the animation, yeah. I, I appreciate what they were going for. I do see the style it's that they were generic. trying to go to, but it's just, again, I watched Puss in Boots Last Wish again last night. That movie Nothing has touched like that movie since ago. the end of 22. We're, a year, we're a year and a half removed from that movie. Fucking peak animation. I still haven't though. seen a better animated movie since then. And this is just a Sony Pictures animated movie. I'm like, Secret Life of Pets did it better. Let's roll down the list of animal movies. You know, Secret Life of Pets 2 did it better. DC Super Pets did it better. Garfield's a huge you know? IP. Garfield's a giant IP. You gotta like, we talk about this with other big IPs, you gotta bring it. When like, you're rebooting or you're sequeling or doing all these things that you wanna like shake it up. Yeah. You can't just go, Make the same stupid movie we've made with a different skin on it for the 400th time. I'm so, I'm so over it. And yeah. I love Garfield. I grew up watching Garfield. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Garfield. 80s baby, like, 90s kid. That was my jam. Garfield yeah. along with the turtles and all the other things. But I mean, like, this, ugh. Yeah, even the, like, uh, 2D, uh, uh, like, what was it, 80s or 90s cartoon? Yeah. It was pretty good. It's pretty good. It was solid. It was solid. Like, there's so many like villains or antagonists that like, we didn't even get like he fucks with the clown in that cartoon show. Like, yeah, so there's a bunch. Yes, there's a bunch of references. My one of my main issues was they were very inconsistent with like it's always been known that the animals can talk to us, the viewer, the fourth wall, but the humans don't like, uh, have a clue. Stewie Griffin, right? Yeah, humans don't know this. Yeah. In this movie, they went back and forth and they waffled on it. And it would be like, of course they can't understand him. And then all of a sudden, there's like a pivotal scene where like they're having a direct conversation with the humans. Yeah, and then like at the, at the end of the movie, like John asks a question, and Garfield looks at him and answers it, and John's like, "Okay," and I'm like, "No, no, no that's there not was a, there was how that works." They played it once in a funny role where the villains like on the phone, like, "I think there's gonna be a robbery at your," and then it's like cuts to the other line. It's meow 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 meow. Right, meow, but that's meow. the only time it made sense because there's like and then some they have kind a of magical device that, that translates. Like, bro, what? What world are you in? What universe? And again, are you building? kids movie. I know, and sometimes we sound Those, ridiculous. The 3D animated Garfield gets real where it goes through the screen into the real world mm -hmm. or whatever, was better than this movie. And that was from 2009. I enjoyed the live action, at least the first one, more than this one. Okay, sure. yeah, way the better. The second one is... Because voice cast is I like least... the second one because it's Tim Curry. Sure. As British... Gu you know, I mean, like, I love Tim Curry. So, I mean, like... What the devil is a Garfield? Garfield, <laughs> right? I mean, like, that's so stupid, but it's like Quick, still... name a line from this movie that's equally as funny as What the Devil is a Garfield. There's not. There's not. There's no funny line in this movie. The funniest scene in this movie was the trailer where he's mowing down meatballs mm -hmm. and lasagna in, yeah. the, in Vito's restaurant. Like, That's it. And that was in the trailer. Like, it's, bro, yeah. I don't care about his dad. I don't care about Samuel L. Dadson. Yeah, and that's the know? other thing is, like, everybody major star that you knew, you knew who they were. Sam didn't do a voice either. He's just like, hey. I'm Samuel L. Jackson. I just finished the Nick Fury thing, so I walked across. Say meow again. <laughs> yeah, I walk across the lot to the Sony lot from Disney, and now I'm just, oh, I forgot. I'm Garfield's yeah. dad. Uh, the main villain in this is one of the bad guys in The Fall Guy, the like producer lady. Yeah, so I'm like credit to her for you know she wasn't bad as that voice role. She was at least doing a voice, I think. Yeah, um, and why was she the most uh, rendered character in the entire movie? By she was the most percent. heavily featured and rendered like, character in the movie. Individual hairs. Yeah, everyone else is just kind of like and, like her necklace had like this uh, cool yeah. gloss, it's really and weird sheen to it. Yeah, everyone else looked like kind of gar garbage, garbage field. I'm gonna because. Without the IP, and I know I've, I've gotten yelled at in comments just before, like, that's not a fair thing, but it is. Sorry. As an original movie you're talking about? If right. It wasn't if it was on just Garfield? like, hey, it's an animated movie with some animals, and they're on an adventure to save the thing and do the stuff, right? Yeah. I'd be like, okay, it's like a 5-5. Five -five. Kids yeah. will like it. I don't like it. Kids will like it. You put Garfield and then attach Chris Pratt and Sam Jackson to it. Because that screams Garfield, right? Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm going to give it a 4. Yeah, I'm right there with you, man. I love Garfield too much to give this movie. It can't be. A it's higher score. worse than average, for sure. Yeah. Meow. <laughs> Woof. I guess I'm Odie. <laughs> I got dipped on Garfield. <laughs> if they wanted to do a vampire movie, it should have been. Let's get into this. It should have been. Spoilers called, are going to happen. So. We kidnapped a vampire. Should have been the name of this movie. Okay. Because then it's less pretentious than Abigail. You know? I think the problem. Okay. I'm, here's my problem. Bad, bad Mar movie. Marketing was a problem. Marketing stuff. Because what they should have done is not showed anything as far as the Abigail situation. Because the movie is shot to be almost like Saw. Like you don't know right. what's coming. Right. Surprise. Again, spoilers are going to happen here. Surprise. It was all a trap and a trick. Vampires. Surprise right. And vampires. then like she takes. 
if you didn't know that because the trailer didn't spoil that it would have